Hello everyone, this is Dr. Bortolotti here again, coming to you via the internet uh, during this um, current pandemic crisis. I hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, this time I'm doing a lecture uh, using uh, the example essay that you're going to be writing uh, for the O'Henry movie that you watched uh, last week. And I have given you this template in the course lessons folder and as you can see everything is already prepared for you the outline is already set up uh, all you need to do is change your name here and then I've already given you the due date what you do of course is take your mouse and then resave it to wherever you want to save it And I'm going to name this with my last name right here. And there it is. Okay. The other thing I want you to notice is that I've already got the page headers started for you. You can right click right click and then edit header and then simply type in your last name and hit the big red X and the headers are done now okay where I want to start here is actually the very last page the works cited page which lists the sources that you're going to be using for this essay. I want to tell you up front right now that I have made up these sources. Okay? These sources do not exist. I'm just using them uh, for uh, example purposes for this essay. I'm trying to teach you guys how to use source information and how to cite source information in the essay. These are the pretend quotes that I got from these pretend sources. Okay, I made up all this stuff just so you get the idea of how to cite stuff in an essay. Okay, I've got an author by the name of Edwards, an author by the name of Johnson, and an author by the name of Smith, and here is one of the quotes, say, from Edwards. Okay, Edwards is a print source. The other two I got here, they're both from the web. And let's just say that this is the date, April 20th, that you viewed the sources online. This is the publication date of the article, but this is supposed to be the date that you looked at it. Remember that? Good. Okay, let's go back up to the top. What you're going to be writing about is this topic sentence. This is also sometimes called a thesis statement, topic sentence or thesis. And I've color coded it in orange. The, th the thesis says, the film O. Henry's Full House is a good visual representation of O. Henry's short stories and their messages. And I've got the essay divided up into three subtopics. And they just happen to be the names of the stories that you watched in the movie. Then I've got this subtopic divided up into three parts. Plot, theme, and expert opinion. And it continues down for the second subtopic. And the same thing for the third subtopic. Remember what plot is. That's what takes place in the story. And you're not going to have a story unless you have conflicts or troubles or problems that the characters go through. Talk about these conflicts or problems or troubles and how they get resolved when you talk about them in the essay. The theme of a story is the lesson we are supposed to learn. And then the expert opinion are those sources that I showed you on the works cited page. Okay, notice, like I said, it is color-coded. 
So you can see that the subtopics are red, the A detail is blue, the B detail is green, and the C detail is purple. Coming down to the actual essay template itself, I'm going to come back to the introduction in a second. I'm going to talk about the first paragraph first. Start off with this subtopic sentence which I am giving you. The film does a great job showing us the story of the last leaf. Then we go into blue, the A detail. Write at least two sentences, and I'm sure you'll end up writing more. Two sentences about the plot. Talk about the characters, the conflicts that they have, the problems that they have, the challenges in the story. Talk about these problems and then how they face these problems and how they solve the problems. Then when you get done with that, talk about what theme O. Henry was trying to tell us in this story. And the movies, as we talked about last week, the movies did a good job representing the themes in from the stories. So what you do here is you go down to this list down here, and then pick the theme that is appropriate, copy it, and then come back up here and paste the theme here. Whoops. Paste the theme here and then talk about that theme in at least two sentences. Then do the same thing. Do the same thing for your expert opinion. Come down here, and this is on the last leaf now, remember that. Come down here, and then choose an appropriate quote that deals with the last leaf. And what you're going to have to do is go through these and find out which is the best one for the last leaf. Hmm, let's see here. This one talks about the will to live. Well, that is certainly the last leaf. You copy this, come back up here, and you paste it in to the correct position of the paragraph, and then discuss what that critic is talking about. So basically this is, the first part of this is your original work. Then in the blue section, you copy and paste the appropriate theme. And this last section here, you copy and paste the appropriate criticism. And then you do the same thing with the next paragraph. Basically what this essay is supposed to be is your, I, your opinion of the movie, but I'm giving you the template on which to use, and I'm giving you the source information. Okay, continually coming back to this page, copying and pasting from what I've given you here. When you get done with your first draft, what you could do, if you would for me, just take all of this and delete it from the page before you send it to me. Okay? Let's go back and talk about the introduction. In the introduction, talk a little bit about the movie. Talk a little bit about what you know about O'Henry and his stories, and then talk a little bit about the movie. Then make sure the thesis or the topic sentence is included in the introduction. When you do the conclusion, restate the topic sentence, the thesis, and then just give your your opinion, your opinion of the stories, what you liked, which one you liked the best, which one affected you the best, which theme you liked the best, which characters liked the best, whatever you want to say. Completely your opinion. Okay? Give this a shot, and if you have any questions, you can go ahead and text me or email me.